Welcome back everybody to Hayes Tech ROM Reviews. Uh, this time we're going to go over Aquarius OS. And this is for the Nexus 6P. So uh, stay tuned. We're going to get right into this. Um, first off guys, I'm going to just uh, I'm just going to tell you right off the bat. Uh, yes, I'm theming this. I'm running Nova Launcher. Um, we all know what these ROMs look like when they're flashed. They're white. It is what it is. Um, I like to run my uh, ROMs themed. If you don't like the way they look you can always change the theme or you can run it without a theme okay um, I've done a lot of thinking and if I'm going to continue on uh, doing these videos I want to continue doing them and enjoy doing them and I was not enjoying them doing them the other way uh, which was just plain stock it, it just didn't seem to, to make sense to me one of the reasons I started doing these videos uh, was to show off uh, some of the themes out there and and what you could do with uh, you know with it. So um, I'm probably going to lose some subs over this, but I mean that's fine. Uh, I didn't want uh, you know I always said in the beginning that I wasn't trying to be the next big YouTube or YouTube star. All right, let's go ahead and get on with this, um, guys. This is another really cool ROM. Um, uh, I actually didn't know a lot about it, and this is a, a, another request. Uh, review. Uh, it was brought up on uh, the Google, Google Plus community. <laughs> Man, I'm just having a hell of a time speaking tonight. Um, it was brought up on the Google Plus community. Uh, I did search it out, found it, uh, ran it. Uh, I've actually had this running a couple days on my 6P and it's running great. Um, I've had no random reboots, uh, nothing like that. Um, again, uh, this is for the Nexus 6P. Uh, it does have May security patch. Um, I'm running, uh, or no, uh, the kernel that comes with it, yeah, uh, is the unholy kernel. So if you guys know anything about that, uh, those that developer is awesome. He does great work. Um, the kernel's great. I, I just love it. I, there's a lot of things about this ROM I like. Um, the fact that it's uh, not force encrypting. Um, they they give you a link uh, to download the um, the vendor image right with the ROM. You don't have to go searching for that shit. It all comes uh, in in the same package. Uh, it's just awesome. So um, as you guys can see, uh, it's called Aquarius or Aquari OS, <laughs> uh, and uh, it's version you know seven one two, and it's SE Linux enforcing. Uh, that's the way the kernel is. I could probably change that in kernel auditor. Uh, but to be honest with you, everything's working. Um, all of my apps, uh, with it running and enforcing, I'm just going to leave it the way it is. Uh, before we go any further, I also want to let you guys know that I'm trying out a new um, a new uh, video recording app. Uh, so if you happen to see some uh, images hanging uh, or anything like that, I'm going to see them too. Uh, and if it does, I'm probably going to switch back to my old video record app. Uh, because it does work. I'm just trying this one out. All right, so all the custom features are in what they call Coral Reef. Now we're going to go into this. And by the way, guys, I specifically chose this theme uh, because it fits the whole uh, Aqua and, you know, Coral Reef, you know, Aquarius OS theme. So uh, that's why I'm running the theme I'm running. Uh, under buttons, first up is going to be your navigation bar. Uh, it does have DU nav, uh, so uh, you have your navigation mode, which you can go uh, smart bar or fling. I'm going to go ahead and go into fling so I can show you guys the settings in that. Even though I don't run fling, uh, these are the settings, uh, you know, in fling itself. So if you guys are a fling fan, <laughs> there you go with your custom logo images and the whole nine yards. It's there. Okay, I'm going to, hopefully that was the back. Yep, that's back button. Uh, right now, I'm going to go back into the smart bar into the area that I'm familiar with, and I'll show you the smart bar settings. These are the settings for smart bar, and of course, it comes with pulse. Um, everything is working. I did check pulse when I was uh, watching my last YouTube video on this device, uh, and it was working great. Uh, power menu is up next. This is the power menu. They come with a lot of features on here. Uh, not unlike a, a couple other really awesome ROMs, my favorites. Um, so uh, it's good that they put a lot of features in here. Uh, there are other people out there like myself that use those features in the power menu, uh, like people use uh, the quick settings. Uh, volume rockers up next underneath that. And uh, those are all of your settings that you can do uh, with your volume rockers. Uh, I use mine just to turn the volume up and down. Uh, you guys can do with it whatever you want, and that is going to be how you do it. Uh, and also, before we go any further, I am going to 
Uh, yes, I'm going to do not disturb. Yeah, I just don't want to inadvertently, let me see. Yeah, okay. I just don't want to uh, blow you guys' eardrums out uh, if I get a uh, text or something. Uh, swipe to the right is going to bring up the lock screen menu. Uh, lock screen shortcuts. Uh, these are the bottom shortcuts. Um, I don't think they have middle shortcuts, but you know, at least th they do give you options to change uh, and mess with the bottom ones. Uh, this is your weather settings here. Uh, you can even, I think you can add a weather surface if I'm not mistaken. Uh, it uses open weather map, but I think it gives you the option to go with Yahoo. Yep. Uh, so, you know, you guys can do do with it what you want. Uh, the options are definitely there. Um, uh, you have your uh, lock screen, clock font, uh, stuff like that. I'm running uh, Roboto right now. Um, they really don't have the one that I like. Uh, no. So, I, I, normally, I just run straight. Um, but you guys can do, again, whatever you want. They have the fingerprint uh, authentication vibration uh, and then your, uh, your FP unlock if you want uh, to mess with that. Swipe to the right brings up the quick settings. Uh, this is going to be your uh, QS tiles. Uh, this is your layout here. Um, and again, this is another one that you guys want to be very careful with, okay? Uh, because not only they give you the columns, you can go as, as high as 7 if you want to, uh, which just gives you a plethora of columns like that. Um, but uh, not only that, they also rows, you can go as high as 7 rows if you want. So when you pull that down... Um, right now, I only have uh, this many options chosen, but um, they'll give you up to seven rows, and you can only use five of them. So you're throwing rows away uh, if you go any more than five. So I, I highly recommend don't go any more than five. Anyways, moving on. Um, you have your advanced quick settings, uh, easy toggle, all of that. It, all the stuff that you would normally, uh, you know, uh, want to see or want to see that you would think would be there are in here uh, custom header images are here uh, I, I like to go dynamic you can go static if you want uh, again I uh, side load or I download apps from the Play Store um, and I like to run my own um, you know I, there are like three of them on there uh, that I use uh, but it does come with its own that are pretty cool uh, I like Gravity Falls uh, and I also like uh, six uh, J-Rod has some really nice ones out too, and they're all free. Um, let's see. Uh, it, if you want to go static, you would want to uh, browse the installed uh, headers, uh, pick on one. Uh, you'd basically just, like, say, go miscellaneous, uh, and then you would just pick on one and long press it, and that would be your uh, set your um, image all the time. It would never change. Uh, let's see. Header shortcuts. These are your shortcuts there. Uh, we are going to slide to the right. It's going to bring up the status bar. Uh, st your battery style goes here if you guys want to run with a battery. Uh, this is going to be where you do it at. By the way, 3-Minute Mod does not work on this ROM. So uh, I don't know if there's a zip out there or not. You guys could probably check into that. Uh, I didn't check, uh, but, you know, it would be nice. Uh, again, th that's about the only thing missing from a lot of these ROMs uh, is the fact that the 3-Minute uh, battery mod is not, uh, you know, uh, built into the ROM, you know, for, and I know they say, well, we don't want to force everybody to run an app, you know, well, if you don't want to run it, just don't install the app from the Play Store, and it, you know, no harm, no foul. Uh, battery, battery percentage, if you want to run it, is there. Uh, it does have a battery bar options, uh, you know, your battery, uh, uh, battery bar styles right there. Uh, you can color it. Uh, let's see. Oh, that's your charging information. That's your status bar style. Man, listen to me. I can't even, uh, I can't even think. This is your battery bar uh, settings right here. Notice how I went with all blue. And again, I was trying to stay with the theme, uh, the whole uh, Aqua, Aqua OS. <laughs> I, know, I know I'm pronouncing it wrong. Uh, but um, it has a lot of really cool features in it, guys. You, you guys know how I feel about uh, battery bars, I like them, and I use them on every ROM. Uh, if the ROM doesn't come with it, I normally download the app uh, Team Battery Bar Pro uh, from the Play Store, and I usually run with that. Uh, carrier label is up next. This is going to be where you want, where you you can put a custom carrier label if you want. Uh, you know, you just go like lock screen, you know, status bar only, lock screen and status bar, and then you would uh, you know pick something. So I could put on here. Uh, whoops, I don't want to go like that. Now we could go um, 
aqua OS if we wanted to, uh, and and click OK, and then that would be up there. Uh, about the only thing that would be cool uh, that I you know would like to see is maybe that we could color that. You know, that would be really cool if you could do that. Uh, other than that, you know, um, it is what it is. I think it's pretty cool. Now what? Oh, I know what it is because I'm re uh, recording in 1440. It's it's uh, draining my resources. Uh, let's see. Clock settings are right here. Uh, standard clock settings, guys. Um, you know, you have your right, left, center, AM, PM, date, uh, date style, and format. Um, uh, let's see. Status bar weather. Uh, and if I'm not mistaken, yeah, I don't see uh, temperature. Yeah, it is. Temperature's up there. Uh, it's kind of all boggled together, and that's because this is the one th other thing that I wish that they would change is under the status bar uh you know settings it would be nice if we could move that to the left uh, we just have so much going on um with uh, on the right hand side uh, that you know it's just it's just too much so i'm going to change that to just uh the temperature with scale um also i'm going to get rid of cast i'm going to let me see go back to my status bar Let's see if i can find a status bar <laughs> Uh, there we go, status bar icons. Uh, I was going to go over this anyways. Um, I'm going to turn a lot of these off cast. Um, what else do I want to get rid of? Do not disturb. I want to get rid of that. Uh, and also, since I have my SIM card and my Nexus 6, uh, I want to get rid of that as well. Uh, let me find cellular data. There we go. That cleaned it up a lot. Um, by the way, guys, yes, I did uh, pop my SIM card in here, and I made several phone calls on it. Uh, I was sending text emails the whole nine yards uh, without Wi-Fi just to make sure the data is working uh, and it's working great uh, I've had no problems with it uh, swipe to the right brings up the display options uh, LED controls uh, you have your notification light um, I have it set up for uh, very fast and short uh, what is really cool about the Nexus 6P uh, is the ability to change the colors to whatever you want uh, because it's a true LED um, uh, with uh, you know basically any color uh, so which is really cool so i like that um i wish the nexus 6 was more like that but with some of the kernels we have out there blackbird being one of them uh the nexus 6 is finally starting to catch up and we're, we're finally getting our blinking notifications which is awesome um uh battery lights underneath that uh, then you have your screen uh, settings which uh the only ones you have under there are wake on plug uh general uh, dashboard options these are your dashboard options here um, and power notifications if you guys are into that, uh, which I never mess with mine, but that's where they're at. Swipe to the right brings up the uh, system uh, miscellaneous, uh, which is going to be your show memory bar. Thank you very much for giving us the memory bar. I love that. Uh, clear all fab, which is basically your uh, clear all button for your recents. Um, they do give us the six positions. Uh, I always go with the bottom left because I've always got my uh, phone in my left hand. Uh, that's the one I use. And, of course, the three-finger uh, uh, gesture for um, taking screenshots. Basically, you just put all three fingers on the screen and pull down, and you get a screenshot. Um, that is it. Uh, I'm really not even going to go over a lot of the other stuff. Normally, I go down display, and I will quickly scroll through it. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it. Uh, sound. Now, these are your... Uh, <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay. Um, and I, I know why it's doing that. That's because of the uh, this um, testing screen record app that I'm using. Uh, so, but those are the rest of the settings. Um, I'm not even going to hit security or uh, developer options because there's nothing in them that's any different than uh, any of the other ones that we use. Uh, I did want to show that the camera is working. Uh, so I'm just going to quickly show you guys my <laughs> my proverbial uh, flower that my flower pot that I use. I'll take a picture real quick. I'll let you guys see that the camera is working. HDR is uh, processing now. Uh, it's working great. Um, you know, so uh, it, like I said, everything's working on this ROM. Um, I, I like the stock wallpaper. And as you guys can see, what's showing right now is the stock wallpaper. Um, and I think they did a good job on it. Uh, I think uh, th for this being a new ROM, as far at least that I know of, for the Nexus 6P, I think they did a damn good job. Uh, I do highly recommend you go out and try it. Um, again, it does not force encrypt. You don't have to worry about flashing a custom kernel or any uh, FED patch or anything like that. So, guys, uh, please uh, hit that thanks button. 
um, you know, that like button uh, underneath the video. Uh, I want to thank all of my subscribers. You guys are awesome, uh, and I will see you on the next one.